just don't feel like it's quite finished. I know what you mean. If it's for Miss Cheerilee, it needs to be perfect. Hearts and Hooves Day only comes once a year, after all. I say we add a little more ribbon. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, and just a tiny bit more lace. A few more hoof prints. Glitter! It could definitely use just a little more glitter. Now that'll show Miss Cheerilee how much we care about her. Just have to get it to the Hearts and Hooves party at school. I think we're gonna need a bigger envelope. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I like the red one. It's lovely and so. We just wanted to let you know that we think you're the best teacher in the whole wide world. And we think you're super, and that we love you so, so much. And we want you to have the best hearts and her thing ever. ever. Thank you so much, girls. I love it. I really do. I'm sure it's nothing compared to the gifts you've gotten from your very special sun pony. Oh, I don't have a very special sun pony at the moment. Really? Some pony as amazing as you not have a very special some pony on Hearts and Hooves Day. It's all right, Sweetie Belle. I have lots of good friends and wonderful students who care about me very much. I'm going to have an absolutely terrific Hearts and Hooves Day. All right, every pony, who's ready to play pin the heart on the pony? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 If any pony deserves a very special some pony, it's her. <gasps> Uh, you all right? I'm more than all right. I just come up with the best idea ever. We're gonna find Miss Cheerily a very special sun pony. That is the best idea ever. I told you. So what are we waiting for? Hearts and Hoof Day is almost over. Let's get out there and find some pony special for Cheerily already. Yeah, let's do it. Now it can't be just any pony. Miss Cheerily is one of the best mares in Ponyville. She deserves to have one of the best stallions as her very special sun pony. Cheerily is sweet and kind. She's the best teacher we could hope for. The perfect stallion you and I must find. One to really This one's too young, this one's too old. He clearly has a terrible cold. <laughs> this guy's too silly, he's way too uptight. I said! Well, nothing's wrong with this one, he seems all right. His girlfriend sure thinks so. How about this one? He's much too flashy. He might do if he weren't so splashy. Too short. for Hearts and Hooves Day? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please say... Nope. <gasps> we did it, girls. We found the one who will send our teacher's heart a flutter. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you talking about my brother? Sweetie Belle is right. Big Macintosh is the perfect match for Miss Cheerilee. He's really nice, super hard working. Hmm. But he's also pretty shy. He's never gonna ask Miss Cheerilee to be his very special sun pony. Maybe he doesn't have to. 
Huh? If we can get Big Mac and Miss Cheerilee in a really romantic setting, I bet she'll ask him. Sounds like a plan to me. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get off fire and create the perfect day. Yay! <laughs> Don't forget the flowers. Oops, I'm on it. <gasps> They're coming. This is going to be perfect. Miss Cheerley is going to have the best hearts and hopes day ever. With her new very special sun pony. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Miss Cheerley. So you three said you needed help identifying a tree you found here near the gazebo? <laughs> That's an apple tree. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, big brother. We went and fixed up the gazebo all on our own. See? As long as you're here, why not have a bite to eat from this romantic-looking picnic? Oh, gosh, seems like there's only room for two. I guess we'll just be going, then. <laughs> You really think this will work? Of course it will work. They're perfect for each other. Beautiful day we're having. Yep. Any big plans for tonight? Nope. Oh, come on, Miss Tearly. Ask him to be your very special soul pony. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been... strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could... Oh! Oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? <laughs> Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do you? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a Pegasus feather. Hey! Fast, not slow. Surf to do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together. To test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. 
I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sum pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to, to be in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sum pony? Yup. Special sun pony. Hey, yeah. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dubby honey bunny. You're my hearty, smarty, spooky, rooty, baby, wordy. Be back! Hey! Hello! What's going on? Miss Cheerilee, are you all right? I have a special sum pony. A kissy, wissy, snuggy, wuggy, sugar bear. I think we may have given them too big of an edge. You're my cuddly, waddly, poopsy, poopsy pumpkin pie. You think? What have we done? My brother's acting like a great A goofball. Maybe we added too much rainbow. Or maybe not enough cloud. Or maybe... Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? We might not have given Big Mac and Miss Charlie a love potion. We may have given them a love poison. What? Apparently, some prince a long time ago whipped up this recipe and gave it to this princess he liked. He meant it to be a love potion, but things didn't turn out so well. How not so well did things turn out? Well, there's something here about a dragon, a kingdom falling, Chaos reigning. Okay, apparently it was all because the prince and princess were so lost in each other's eyes that they couldn't perform their royal duties. Great! We've not only turned Big Mac and Miss Cheerly into a couple of nonsense spouting nincompoops, we may have put all of Ponyville in jeopardy! <laughs> Come on, Apple Bloom. Miss Cheerly and Big Mac don't have any royal duties. But they still got responsibilities. If we don't fix this, oh no, Miss Cheerley won't be able to teach. Big Mac won't be able to harvest any apples. And before you know it, Ponyville will be overrun with uneducated little pony star for apples. Oh, it'll be chaos, it'll be chaos! There's an antidote. Well, why didn't you say so? Didn't you see me getting all panicked back there? If we can keep Miss Cheerley and Big Mac from looking into each other's eyes for one full hour, the love curse will be broken. Only an hour? <laughs> we can pull that off in a second. You take the first sip, Snuggle Wuggles. Nope, you take it, Snoodle Bum. No, you, Snooky Lumps. No, you, Pookie Pie. I'm all for romance, but this has been going on for hours. What's happened to these two? Well, these lovebirds will probably be planning a wedding soon. We can always use the catering business. A wedding? That's it! Miss Charlie and Big Mac should get married. How is getting hitched gonna keep them apart? They aren't really gonna get married. They're just gonna get ready to get married. <laughs> no, you, Biscuit Biscuit Bear. Nope, you have your little snuggy bunny. Hi, Miss Charlie. How are you? I have a very special sun pony. I have a very special sun pony. Yeah, we noticed. 
gosh, you two are so in love. The next thing you know, you'll be getting married. Married? That's right, married. Married. Ugh. Of course, if you're gonna get married, you wanna pick out a really nice diamond for your... Ugh! Schmoopy doopy a pookie pie? Diamond! Schmoopy! Don't you think you should start looking for your wedding dress? You'll wanna look your best for your... Honey bunny snuggle baby. <laughs> now we just need to keep them apart. I'll keep Miss Truly occupied. You two do the same with big men. No problem. Meet you back at the clubhouse in an hour when this whole mess is over. This one looks nice. Better try it on, though. Ten minutes down. 50 minutes to go. No. No. Not that one either. No. Too shiny. No. You know, something less shiny. Miss Cheerley deserves the best. How much time is left? I'm running out of ways to make diamonds sound bad. We still have 25 minutes. Oh. Where's my brother? He made his purchase and departed out the back. Said something about needing to see his... Schmoopy schmoop. Ugh. Okay, I'll see what I can do to slow him down. You go on to Carousel Boutique and more sweet mail. sitting on a feather bed in a hole in the ground? Yep. Girls, can you explain why I look like I'm getting married at the bottom of a pit? 
we may have given you the teeny tiniest bit of love potion that may have turned out to actually be a love poison. And you may have gone just a teeny tiny spit nutty. But we only did it because we thought you and Big Mac would be really happy if you could be each other's very special sun ponies on Hearts and Hooves Day. Our hearts and hooves were in the right place. We appreciate that you care about us and want us to be happy, but... But no matter how good our intentions might have been, we should have never meddled in your relationship. No pony can force two ponies to be together. It's up to every pony to choose that very special sun pony for themselves. We're, We're sorry. And you can think about how sorry you are while you're doing all of Big Mac's chores at Sweet Apple Acres. Does that seem like a fair punishment to you? Yep. Uh -huh. Hey there, Miss Cherrily. What are you doing here? Since you three are doing all of his chores, Big Mac and I thought we'd have a picnic at the gazebo. Ready, sugar bear? Yep, pumpkin pie. 